Be sure to like the official Mike's Vehicle Spotlight page on Facebook today to keep informed on all the latest video updates, photos of future and past vehicles, and any other MVS related news. That's www.facebook.com slash Mike's Vehicle Spotlight. Today's MVS shines on the 2014 Dodge Durango Citadel all-wheel drive. Dodge released the Durango midsize SUV for the 1998 model year. It has been through two generations until the 2009 model year where it was discontinued after the Durango's assembly plant was announced to be closed. An all-new Durango made a comeback for the 2011 model year. The current third generation Durango shares the same platform as the Jeep Grand Cherokee. For 2014, the Durango has received a minor facelift in several departments. The Citadel is the top-of-the-line Durango trim. The newly freshened front end begins with the standard automatic bi-xenon high-intensity discharge headlamps with LED daytime running lamps and automatic high beam control. Citadel models include this unique chrome finished front mesh grille. The front bumper includes two fog lamps with chrome accenting, a large mesh air dam with your cruise and collision sensor placed in the center and lower chrome belt with black body cladding. The Durango is 201.2 inches long, stands at 70.9 inches tall, and sits at 75.8 inches wide. Today's Citadel is featured in the deep cherry red crystal pearl coat exterior color. The mirrors on Citadel models are finished with chrome caps, black accents, and turn signal markers. The mirrors themselves are fully powered, heated, and include the optional blind spot warning indicators. More chrome can be found on the roof rails and on the door handles. The driver's door handle also includes your keyless enter and go thumb control. The lower sides include more chrome accenting and lower black body cladding. Citadel models ride on these 20-inch polished aluminum rims with 265 50R25 all-season tires all the way around and a four-wheel anti-lock disc braking system behind them. Electronic stability control, traction control, ready alert braking, rain brake support and brake assist come equipped as standard. The back end consists of a new LED racetrack tail lamp design 
which is equipped on all Durango trim levels. The top of the bumper includes a black traction pad. The bumper itself includes your rear parking assist sensors and dual chrome exhaust outlets placed inside black body cladding. Once inside, the redesigned interior gives front persons 39.9 inches of headroom, 57 inches of hip room, 40.3 inches of leg room, and 58.5 inches of shoulder room. Dual front airbags, front seat side mounted airbags, side curtain airbags for all rows, and a driver's knee airbag comes as standard safety equipment. Cetadel models feature these premium Napa Access 2 leather pointed seats finished in black. They also include perforated accents, light gray stitching, and the Cetadel name embroidered into the seat back. Both front seats are 12 way powered, heated and cooled, and the driver's seat includes two person memory presets. The interior door trim includes a chrome door handle, black wood accenting, your mirror window and door lock controls placed on a leather stitched armrest, your driver memory preset controls, and a door pocket with integrated cup holder. The dashboard includes more black wood and chrome accenting throughout. The keyless enter and go system with push button ignition is standard on all Durango trim levels. The driver sits in front of an all-new aluminescent gauge cluster that includes an analog 7000 RPM tack, analog coolant temperature, and analog fuel level gauges. Placed in the center is a 7 inch thin film transistor which will give you more vehicle information like a 140 mile per hour speedometer, the outside temperature, a compass, the current gear selection, any additional vital stats such as tire pressure readings and fluid temperatures, your driver assist information, fuel information, two trip computers with vehicle timers, infotainment settings, urgent vehicle alerts, and access to your customizable features.
The driver grabs onto a leather-wrapped heated steering wheel with perforated and silver spoke accents. The left spoke includes your driver TFT controls and your hands-free phone and command controls. The right spoke includes your cruise and optional adaptive cruise system controls. Behind both spokes are your manumatic shifting paddles, and as in Chrysler tradition, your audio controls. Steering is provided through an electro-hydraulic power rack and pinion system. To the left of the steering wheel, sit your exterior and interior dimmer controls. Down below is your fuel filler release. Your front and rear wiper controls are placed on the turn signal stock. The steering column is also four-way powered. The center stack begins with an 8.4 inch touchscreen display that gives you access to the Uconnect infotainment system. This system features an AM, FM, MP3 audio system backed by a 506 watt 9 speaker Alpine audio system. The system also includes voice recognition technology, Bluetooth connectivity, and Sirius XM satellite radio. This touchscreen will also give you access to your other media devices, additional miscellaneous controls such as your heated and cooled seat functions, as well as your heated steering wheel function. Your Tri-Zone Climate Control System. Your GPS navigation system, your hands free phone controls. and additional vehicle applications, such as Sirius Travel Link, which can provide information like current fuel prices, movie times, and weather forecasts.
Below the screen sits your audio volume, station tuning, and climate controls. Your emergency hazard switch is also placed here. The bottom of the stack includes your parking assist override, your collision assist override, your eco mode control, and your traction control override. The center console begins with a large storage area that includes a 12 volt power outlet, your auxiliary input jack, USB port, and SD card reader for all of your digital media devices. Shown here is the new rotary shift knob for your transmission selection. Next to it sits two cup holders with ambient lighting halos, and behind it sits a small storage pocket. The center armrest opens up to a small storage console with a 12 volt power outlet and your optional CD player placed inside. The glove compartment is quite spacious. The sun visors include lighted vanity mirrors, the ceiling console includes two dome lamps, two map lamps, your sunroof controls, universal garage door controls, your rear liftgate release, and a place for a pair of glasses. The auto dimming rear view mirror also includes your emergency call controls. The second row of the Durango offers 39.8 inches of headroom, 42.8 inches of hip room, 38.6 inches of legroom, and 50.4 inches of shoulder room. Today's Citadel includes the optional second row fold and tumble captain's chairs with the optional center console. The interior door trim also includes door pockets with integrated cup holders. Behind the front console sits two air vents, two USB charging ports, your second row heated seat controls, and a 115 volt power outlet. Both front seats also include netted map pockets. Above the second row sits the rear climate controls. Two map lamps are also placed above and they are angle adjustable.
The center console includes two cup holders, a storage pocket, and an armrest that opens up to a large storage compartment with a USB charging port and another 12 volt power outlet placed inside. To access the third row, pull on the lever towards the floor and then tumble the seat forward. The third row offers 37.8 inches of headroom, 42.8 inches of hip room, 31.5 inches of legroom, and 50.4 inches of shoulder room. Cup holders and third row map lamps are also provided. Once the standard powered liftgate is activated, you'll soon find that the Durego can carry up to 84.5 cubic feet of cargo with all of the seats folded flat. A 12 volt power outlet is also placed off to the right side. Under the floor sits a large storage compartment next to the Alpine subwoofer. To fold the third row, just pull on the levers in the center of the seat. Today's Citadel is powered by the standard 3.6 liter 24 valve Pentastar V6 with variable valve timing. This engine puts out 295 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. EPA estimates are 17 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon on the highway with four wheel drive. The Durango also supplies a 24.6 gallon fuel tank.
All Durangos are driven through an all-new 8-speed automatic transmission with a manumatic shifting feature. Today's Durango also includes the optional full-time four-wheel drive system. Once in reverse, the rear backup camera with cross path detection is displayed. And that concludes today's MVS on the 2014 Dodge Durango Citadel all-wheel drive. I'm Michael Adams, and thank you for watching Mike's Vehicle Spotlight. To view the previous MVS feature, click on the picture shown here.